Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 8, form 3, topic 3, we were dealing with laboratory preparation of alkenes and also the physical properties of alkenes. So today, lesson 9, we want to proceed to the chemical properties of alkenes. And we are saying alkenes are more reactive than alkenes. And that's due to the presence of the double bond. Remember when we are dealing with the alkenes, we said we have only a single bond in between two carbon atoms two carbon atoms but when dealing with alkenes we're having at least a double bond in between two carbon atoms in a molecule therefore due to the presence of the double bond in alkenes alkenes are more active than alkenes and we're saying the double bond is the reactive site of alkenes then we are going to start with the first one the first chemical products of alkenes that's combustion of alkenes and we're saying all alkenes burn in air with a yellow suit flame unlike alkenes remember we said alkenes burn with a bell blue flame we're saying this is because they are unsaturated hydrocarbons they have a higher carbon to hydrogen ratio than alkenes since alkenes burn with a yellow suit flame they are not preferred for use as fuels like alkenes and we're saying equations or equation for the combustion is as follows we start first of all burning of ethene so this is how we write ethene c2h4 which is a gas reacts with three balls of oxygen gas and that oxygen is in excess air or in excess oxygen we are going to get two moles of carbon peroxide and two moles of water or steam so when alkenes burn in excess air we get carbon peroxide and steam or carbon peroxide and water but when alkenes or like ethene reacts with limited supply of oxygen this is limited oxygen or limited air we are going to get carbon two oxide and also water as our product you have to know that so next we are going to see burning of propene what will happen when propene reacts with excess oxygen and also limited oxygen we are going to have propene plus nine moles of oxygen gas we are going to get six moles of carbon peroxide and also six moles of water that's when we're dealing with excess air or excess oxygen but when propene reacts with limited supply of air or limited supply of oxygen we are going to get three moles of carbon two oxide gas and three moles of water that's the first chemical products of alkene that's combustion of alkenes number two we are going to proceed to addition reactions so we're saying alkenes undergo addition reactions because of the double bonds so an addition reaction is a reaction in which one molecule adds to another to form a single product examples of addition reactions of alkenes are as follow number one we are going to start with halogenation so halogenation is a reaction of alkenes with the halogens and we're saying this is the addition of halogen atoms across a double bond so we are going to start with the halogens remember the halogens include chlorine bromine iodine and also fullerene so we're saying chlorine and bromine are decolorized immediately when ethene is added equations for the reactions are when we're dealing with chlorine we are going to see first of all ethene how do you write ethene we write ethene like this this is the open structural formula for ethene that we are going to react with chlorine gas remember chlorine gas consists of two chlorine atoms because we write chlorine gas like that and it's made up of two chlorine atoms so what we are going to get there is a single product because this is an addition reaction what is addition reaction is a reaction in which one molecule adds to another to form a single product so how are we going to do this equation first of all we are going to have our ethene like this we're having it like this we're having four hydrogen and also two carbon then we said it is going to react with chlorine gas so chlorine gas consists of two chlorine atoms so first of all the double bond breaks up so we are going to have something like this and show all the bonds that we are going to have then remember how many hydrogen were you having initially one two three four so both those four bonds one two 
three, four. Then in chlorine gas, how many chlorine atoms do you have? Two chlorine atoms. So put one here, then put the other one here. So this is the product that we are going to form when chlorine reacts with ethene. So the name of this product will be one comma two dichloroethene. That will be the name of that compound of that product. So I have done it. It is just here. Let's just try to see it. So first of all, we are going to have our two, two carbon, but the double bond has been broken down. So we are going to have a single bond. So show all the bonds for carbon. Remember, carbon has valence of four, so it's going to have four bonds there. So initially, we are having four hydrogen. This is one, two, three, four. The chlorine molecule contains chlorine, two chlorine atoms. Those are the two chlorine atoms. So if we try to name this compound, the longest chain contains two carbon. That means we are going to have ethene there. Then we have two attachments of the same of the same kind. One is in the first carbon, the other one is in the second carbon. So if we are going to have one comma two dash, then we're going to say dye, and the attachment is chloro, then we're going to say ethene. So we're done with that. Then we're going to proceed to Roman 2, that's bromine. So once you know how to do chlorine, you also do bromine. Because the only difference is that where we are having chlorine atoms, we are going to put it bromine atoms only. The rest are just one of the same. So if we try to do it on our own, we are going to have ethene like this. We are having four hydrogen. So when ethene reacts with bromine gas, it's containing two bromine atoms. So first of all, we said the double bond breaks up so that we are going to have more bonds or more species. So initially, in ethene, I was having four hydrogen. One hydrogen is here, the other hydrogen is there, the other one is there, the fourth one is there. So bromine molecule contains two bromine atoms. One is here, then the other one is here. So drawing the structural formula of the compound formed when bromine reacts with ethene is like this. So let's just try to name this compound. So the longest chain contains two carbon. So the longest chain or the parent, the name is ethene. Then we have an attachment. Yes, we have two attachments of the same kind. So in which number are they attached to which carbon atom are they attached to carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number one, carbon number two. Then we are going to say dye. What's the name of the attachment? It's called boromine. So we are going to write boromo. So we are going to have one comma two dye boromo ethene like that. So if we check what we have here, is that 1,2 dibromoethene. So what we are going to see here is that, first of all, when ethene is reacting with bromine molecule or bromine gas, the double bond first breaks up. So when it breaks up, we are going to have two carbon atoms and in between them, we have single bond. So that means each carbon will have four bonds like that. Then how many hydrogens were we having in ethene initially? Four. One, two, three, four. Now, what are we adding there? We are adding bromine molecule or bromine gas, which is having two atoms of bromine. So one atom of bromine will be placed here. The other atom of bromine will be placed here. So this is the formula of the product formed when ethene is reacted with with the bromine gas or bromine. So the name of this compound or this substance is 1,2 dibromethane. So in case your tool write the reaction uh, between fluorine and also ethene, the only change will, will be will be where we have bromine atoms, we are going to replace it with the fluorine atoms. And the name of the compound will be 1 comma 2 difluoroethene. In case we are dealing with maybe if, uh, iodine and ethene, what we are going to change is bromine atoms to iodine atoms. And the name of the product there will be 1 comma 2 diiodoethene. So next, when bromine is dissolved in water and reacted with ethene, the following reaction takes place. So ethene plus bromine water, and this is, we said, bromic one acid. What we are going to do is that the same thing. The first step, the double bond breaks up. So how are we going to do this? We are going to have something like this, four hydrogen. So reacting with bromic one acid. So what will happen is that the first step, the double bond breaks up. Then how many hydrogen are we having initially? One, two, three, four. Then we are going to say one, two, three, four. Then when we are dealing with the uh, bromic one acid, we are having HOBr. So we can put our Br here, then we can put our HO or OH. Combo. So this is the compound that we are going to form. 
Okay, then what's the name of this compound? So here we're having OH and that's a functional group for a group of compound called alkanol. They're having OH as their functional group. So that means this is the first bond, the first carbon, and this is the second carbon. So to name this, it will be 2 bromoethanol. That's what we're going to have. So this is what we are going to get here. This is two boromoethanol. What we have done is that the first step, the double bond breaks up. So we are going to have single bonds. Initially, we were having four hydrogen, one, two, three, four. Then we were having HO, which we can write OH. Then we are having BR, and this is bromine atom. So when we are naming this compound, this compound has OH as its functional group. So a group of compounds that have OH as their functional group are called alkanol. They are called alkanols alkanols so that means we are going to start the first carbon there where the functional group is and this is the second carbon so this will be two bromo two bromo then we're having ethanol or we can say ethan one ool no problem so next we're saying bromine water is decolorized and this is a test for alkenes so next we are going to do but b of addition reaction and that is hydrohalogenation. So what is hydrohalogenation? That's the reaction of alkenes with hydrogen halides. And we're saying this is the addition of hydrogen halides such as hydrogen bromide and hydrogen chloride across a double bond. So let's start and see the reaction between ethene and also hydrogen chloride gas or hydrogen chloride. So the same will happen. The double bond first of all breaks up. So we're going to have our ethene first of all, which is written like this. We are having four hydrogen in ethene. Then we are going to react with the hydrogen chloride. We see the first step, the double bond breaks up. So we are going to have single bonds like that. So check initially how many hydrogen are we having for one, two, three, four. When you are talking about hydrogen chloride, how many atoms of hydrogen do you have there? One hydrogen. What about chloride atoms? One chloride atoms because we write hydrogen chloride like that. So to name this, this will be chloroethane. That will be the name of the the name of the combo or the name of the product. Okay, let's just try to see. We are going to have our ethene here. Ethene is written like this. We are having two carbon with four hydrogen. And in between two carbon atoms, we have the double bond. Reacting with hydrogen chloride. So hydrogen chloride contains one atom of hydrogen and one atom of chlorine. So when these two are reacting, the first step, the double bond breaks up. We are going to have single bond. Then we are having four uh, around we are having in each carbon we have four bonds in each carbon so how many hydrogen are we having initially for one two three four then in hydrogen chloride we have one hydrogen atom and also one chlorine atom so to name this compound the longest chain contains two carbon that's ethane do we have an attachment yes we have an attachment called chloro we like we write chloro then it is in the first carbon because if i read from here it will be one so i'm going to write one chloroethane so so roman two hydrogen bromide Reaction of ethene with hydrogen boromide. So if you know the reaction of ethene with hydrogen chloride, you know with hydrogen boromide because the only change is where you are having hydrogen chloride, we are going to have hydrogen boromide. So that means where we are putting chlorine atom, we are going to put only boromine atom. Only that. The rest will be one and the same. So let's just see. This is ethene. Ethene is written like this as usual. Reacting with the hydrogen boromide, we are going to get boromoethene. How have we arrived at this? We check. We are going to have uh, ethene like that, reacting with hydrogen boromide. We see the first step, the double bond breaks up. When the double bond breaks up, we are going to have single bonds. So let's check the bonds in each carbon. It's like that. So initially, we were having four hydrogen in ethene. The next hydrogen boromide contains one hydrogen atom. And also one boromine atom so this is how we have gotten the the compound or the drawing of the structural formula for the compound formed when it reacts with hydrogen boromide okay to name this this is boromoethane just like that okay next we are going to go to the third addition reaction which is hydrogenation and that's reaction of alkenes with hydrogen we're saying this is an addition reaction in which hydrogen reacts with alkenes to form corresponding alkenes so we have a general formula here the general formula is that if you're having alkenes this is the general formula for alkenes cnh2n which is a gas reacts with hydrogen gas 
in the presence of nickel catalyst under a condition of temperature which is in between 150 degrees Celsius to 250 degrees Celsius, we are going to get an alkane with a general formula of CN 2 n plus 2, which is a gas. So we are saying hydrogen gas reacts with ethene at a temperature of between 150 degrees Celsius to 250 degrees Celsius in the presence of bladenum or nickel catalyst to form ethene. Ethene, which is written like this, reacting with hydrogen gas, which is having two atoms of hydrogen, in the presence of nickel catalyst or palladium catalyst in this temperature range or in a temperature of between 150 to 250 degrees Celsius, what we are going to get is ethene gas. This is an addition reaction because an addition reaction is a reaction in which one molecule adds to another to form a single product. So the product here is ethene. So we go condition for hydrogenation. And we're saying we are going to have a temperature of between 150 degrees Celsius to 250 degrees Celsius. We are going to have a catalyst called vanadium catalyst or nickel catalyst. We are going to have a reagent called hydrogen gas. We are going to have a pressure of 200 to 250 atmospheres. Then application of hydrogenation. Where can we use hydrogenation? We are saying when hydrogen gas is bubbled through liquid vegetable and animal oil heated to a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius in the presence of a nickel catalyst, so did fat is formed. Therefore, hydrogenation is used in the manufacture of margarine to make liquid oil so did fat. That's the application of hydrogenation. That's the end of our video today. Thank you.